All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna make a carnivore breakfast and we're gonna freeze dry it in the, in the uh, cube freeze dryer. Now, what we decided to do is make a um, scrambled eggs with, we were gonna do scrambled eggs and with some sausage, but I couldn't find any really good sausage around. Um, I don't eat pork, so most of the, even the beef sausages have pork casing. Um, we we tried to find something that didn't have uh, any ingredients that you can't pronounce either. So we found some uh, these franks here. They're all Angus beef. They have no nitrates, no nitrites, no uh, monosodium glutamate in there, none of that junk. And they seem to be all natural with very limited spices in it. Um, so that should work out really good for us. So we're gonna try those. We've eaten those in the past on the grill, and uh, or you can just heat them up. They're already pretty cooked, so you don't you don't really have to cook them. But when you put them on the grill, it kind of gives it a little extra flavor. Uh, so we tried them. They're they're pretty good. We like them, and they're all natural, and we don't have to worry about certain chemicals and junk and stuff like that. All right, guys. So let me show you the process, and let's get this started. So first, we scrambled 18 eggs, and that will be what we put for each tray, 18 eggs. And we just added salt to it. And next we'll slice up those franks into smaller pieces. Now we have our franks cut up and we also decided to use some cheese. You use whatever cheese you want. I think we had some Colby Jack type cheese. And we're going to get our scrambled eggs going here. And it's best to uh, keep it medium-low heat and keep scraping the bottom of the pan. And now we can add our franks and the cheese. And we'll mix that all up and let the cheese melt real good. And now we're done. Everything's the cheese is all melted and everything looks good. Now we're going to add it to our tray. And we'll just keep doing the, sec the exact same thing 18 eggs. We used uh, four of those Franks, so that's actually eight ounces of Franks. And um, and this uh, cheese, whatever amount you want to put in there, and we'll just uh, spread it out to fill the tray up, and we'll do that for each one. Next, we're gonna put our uh, tray stacker covers on, and we're gonna stack those all up. And we're gonna put those in the freezer and this should be ready the following day. All right guys, it's the next day and the food is frozen, but we have to turn our freeze dryer on first. So we're gonna turn this on. And once the display is on, we just hit start. And we hit frozen because our food is frozen. And we gotta check our drain valve. And now we hit yes, our drain valve is closed. And once the chamber's temperature reaches 30 degrees, it'll tell you to load the food. All right, so while this is cooling down, I'm gonna let you know that Prep for Life has a more affordable option available for you if you're interested in purchasing a cube freeze dryer. They have the traditional one like this one here, which has got the internal vacuum pump it's oilless and now they have a more affordable version the same model but more affordable because now they have the external vacuum pump which it does have oil and you'll just have to change the oil in it on every now and then um, but it's much more affordable and they also have another model which is again the same model but it's all stainless steel outside and uh, it looks really nice so you have more options all right, so the freeze dryer is ready. We can start loading our food. Get that open. 
Take our covers off. And it's all froze. Alright, so our food is loaded and we're going to hit yes and start. Alright, so the freeze drying process is running. We'll see how long it takes and we'll see you back here when it's done. Alright guys, it's the next day. It took just over 29 hours to do. So we're going to stop the machine and check it out. They're definitely done. Let me take them out here and I'll show you up close. Once you know your food is done and you don't need any more dry time, you just hit no. So we hit complete. Okay, so you can see it pretty much looks the same. Trunk a little bit. And um, it's just a little crispy. The meat itself it's done nice and dry yeah it comes apart okay so we're gonna bag this now and use some oxygen absorbers and we're gonna test a little bit out all right we got the uh, prep for life bags here on the back of these bags, you can put all your information, the date, what's inside, and all that stuff. Really good bags. Um, so what we decided to do is, it looks like if we cut this in half, we be, we'll be able to fit half in each bag. Um, I'm sure we can fit more, but I don't want it too cluttered in a bag. Yeah, it come out chunks instead of. I was worried about it being very crumbly and powdery, but it's that's not the case. I think it's the cheese that's holding the uh, eggs together better. You know what? That come out perfect, huh? Yeah. F a tray per bag. Okay. Just to show you guys, I mean. So it's about three quarters full. It's perfect. It's enough to close it. Put an oxygen absorber in there. So let me uh, close up the rest of it. We're, but we're going to take the uh, little bit out and we're going to uh, reconstitute it and see how it come out. So on these bags here, we're going to be putting in some uh, 300 cc oxygen absorbers. Okay. So each bag will get 300 cc little pouch. You want to zip tie those or zip tie them, <laughs> zip lock them. <laughs> All right, so that's a total of eight bags. And we took out just a little bit here to try. I'm thinking it's going to want to. Zip that up. So we got to seal this up here. I'm thinking that's going to come out pretty good. So you want to seal these uh, oxygen, whatever you have left of these oxygen absorbers uh, pretty quick because they go bad otherwise. Okay, these are ready to seal. So let me seal these all up and then we're going to taste, taste test that. Okay, last one. Okay, so all we've got to do here in the back is write the date and the contents, and uh, they go into storage. All right, so let's get our hot water here. And we'll reconstitute it. Uh, 
Not sure how much to put. We can always drain the excess. As long as everything gets, you know, absorbs the water. Should be all right. It smells really good, actually. Because those hot dogs, those Franks are, um, that's, that's, that's what I smell. All right, we're going to let this sit for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And uh, we'll see how it come out. Okay, it's been about 10 or 12 minutes. The eggs are fine. They're holding together real good. And I, like I said, I think it had more to do with the cheese. These little franks here, little sausages, sausages here, they seem a little hard. <laughs> they still seem hard on the inside. Let me taste the eggs and then I'll taste the, uh, these little sausages here, little franks, and see how they come out. There's still a little water at the bottom, but it's not a big deal. You want to be the guinea pig? <laughs> yeah, let's taste the eggs first. Very good. It tastes good. It's more firm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more firm. And the cheese, I think it's the cheese that's doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm going to taste these little franks here. No, they're not too bad. You know what it honestly tastes like? Almost like you're eating a, uh, jerky. a jerky. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, those um, jerkies, the, the, the ones that are about the size of your finger, your pinky or whatever, the long ones. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it tastes like, a, a, a jerky. Very doable. In fact, if I get a piece of egg and a little piece of a sausage or frank there, oh yeah, that's good. Not too bad. Hey, now if you're taking these camping and stuff, that's great. But in, a, in an emergency, yeah, there's nothing like that feeling you get when you know you got something to eat. Yeah, the, the texture of the egg, <clears throat> I, I can't say it's rubbery. It's not rubbery. It's just a little firmer. Yeah, firmer. Not as soft as the fresh. Right. Yeah, because when you make it fresh, you know, eggs is fresh. And, the, and I think it's the cheese. When you, make, when you heat it up in a pan with the cheese, of course, it's all ooey-gooey, the cheese. Here, it's not like that. It's a little more firm, but it actually, it's a good thing, but it holds the eggs together. So, yeah, not bad at all. I like it. Oh, man, I, I can eat this all day. In fact, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> okay. Thumbs up on this one? Yeah, thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so... Let me get that down. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay. We're just gonna finish it. Yeah, I kinda like these sausages now, because it does taste like turkey.